Welcome to Uncage. Today we're speaking with Philip Hogan. Philip Hogan is the president of Signing Services of America, which is a nationwide notary signing service company with a robust database of attorneys and CFPB compliant notary signing agents. Anyone who has done business around the U.S. as well as uh, overseas. Chasing notaries is always needed unless uh, there's some type of massive change in the way we do things. So, Philip, thanks so much for being on the show today. But before we get into what you and the team are doing at Signing Services of America, tell us a little bit about you and your career. Sure, Ben. Uh, thank you so much. And I'd be happy to. And before I get into it, you know, one of your mantras that's on your website says find a way. And that is just completely in sync with how I live my life and how I was taught to live my life. My grandparents are immigrants from a small country in the Caribbean named Montserrat. And my when they immigrated to the country, they were trailblazers for many of our remaining family members on the island. And uh, because in Harlem, where they settled, my grandparents' home was the landing spot, if you will, for all of the family members who wanted to leave the country and come to the U.S. And my grandmother's name was Rose. And so Aunt Rose was known as the, the person who could make things happen for you when you came to the U.S. And I'm saying that because uh, as a result, my uncles and my parents uh, became entrepreneurs and my grandmother was an entrepreneur as well. She was a great cook, mm -hmm. uh, worked for the city board, uh, for the New York City School Board of Education. And then on the weekend, she cooked uh, at summer camps. Mm -hmm. So uh, my my parents uh, became business owners. Uh, my uncles became business owners. And as children, my cousins and I would work in the family businesses because that's what we were required to do as children. You know, we, you didn't have an option. You had to uh, come to the store and work. And so we would go to Harlem and put together the newspapers and these kind of things. And, and so my business acumen started at that age. Uh, my mother's grandmother, my mother's mother, sorry, was a, uh, a minister. Uh, she was a bishop. So she started her church in Harlem on uh, 126th Street and Park Avenue. So I had these two pillars of leaders in my family who established the importance of being entrepreneurs. And it just seemed to get passed on from generation to generation to me. So my first in my, so as a child, we worked with my father's businesses and I learned by working with him. And then my mom was the, the bookkeeper or the accountant. And so I learned the business side, the financial side of, of the business, and it just planted the seed. So mm -hmm. my first entrepreneurial experience was as the uh, executive director, founding the executive director of Housing Matters of New York, which was a nonprofit organization that provided transitional housing for former incarcerated adult men who were nonviolent drug offenders mm -hmm. in Brownsville, Brooklyn. And so I purchased the, the building out of the foreclosure and started the nonprofit. And for five years, uh, we were able to house men who were coming home from correction facilities. We were able to integrate them back into society by having full-time employment, permanent housing, family reunification, and also being drug-free for at least six months. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2005, I got burned out, so I, we had to suspend the services of the, of the, the nonprofit. And, uh, but then my, my desire to continue to be an entrepreneur had not stopped. It just was put on hold. Yeah. So in 2014, I became a mobile notary because a notary had come to my home to close the um, auto loan transaction for a car I purchased out of state. Had mm -hmm. never heard about a mobile notary. I was fascinated with it. I learned all I could. And, um, and then I went and got my notary commission and I started to be a mobile notary in Atlanta, Georgia and did very well. And in 2015 is when I landed a huge contract with a title company in Clearwater, Florida. They were sending us a lot of business. I needed to manage that business. And so the next natural step in the evolution was to start a signing service. So in mm -hmm. February of 2016, Signing Service America was launched. And in February of 2024, we'll be celebrating eight years. Wow. That's great. What an amazing story. And uh, certainly, I, I think clearly being an entrepreneur 
is in your blood probably will get passed down generation to generation <laughs> and uh, i i love that you know we need more of that for sure but you know tell me a little bit more about your role now you're the president of signing services of america and tell me a little bit about um the business sure well my son is our operations manager so like i work with my dad and his business, I was really drawn to ensuring that my son could work and could find a place in Signing Services America. And as being the senior operations, as being the operation manager, my son is, he's responsible for the day-to-day -day operations, which is pretty much the scheduling component. When orders come in, when our clients are reaching out to us for uh, our services, then my son and the scheduling department oversees the the scheduling process, and then more, and then they they have heavy input when it comes to working with our signing agents, may they be notaries or attorneys. And yeah. for an example, these individuals will be in the field anywhere throughout the United States. They may have some questions or some concerns or issues. So the scheduling department personnel are responsible for and engaging with those signing agents to ensure that they're able to complete the the order as our clients request. So my responsibilities are now elevated to then managing the company in different areas, in accounting, mm -hmm. in marketing, in sales, and uh, setting the path for uh, opportunities that we may be able to expand. Uh, we're working with, um, so those are the things that I do as the, and then of course we train the staff and I conduct staff meetings and trainings. And, and uh, then we also do some trainings for our notaries on a week. We have a weekly Zoom call that mm -hmm. allows me to interface with the notaries that we hire so we can train them on specifically what it is that we want them to do. And we yeah. tell them that, listen, you, we know who our clients are. We know what our clients require. So we need to communicate that to you so you can fulfill what our clients want done the way they want it done. Well, tell me, I mean, Philip, it's an interesting space that you operate in. Uh, you know, there's a lot of folks that talk about delivering notary services and, you know, some of it, it seems to almost be on the retail level. But, you know, my experience is that it's actually been hard to find really good notary services. And I, I guess I just would love to understand how you and the team navigate the marketplace and, you know, what your differentiators are. Sure. Great question. And thank you for asking. And one of the differentiators are we are proactive communicators, thinkers, and we're solution-based. And when I say being proactive, I'm constantly teaching the staff as well as the notaries that we can't wait for the bomb to go off when we knew the bomb was going to go off and not tell our clients. We have to inform our clients, hey, listen, the, the, the path that you want us to go down or the state that you want us to do this particular signing has these laws and these requirements. And we need to let you know so that no one gets in trouble. And that's just an example as to how we're being proactive, opposed to waiting for the situation to happen and then have to respond to an incident that could have been avoided. And so the solutions that uh, the solution based is that we're constantly looking for ways to make our clients' life easier, mm -hmm. right? The title agents and those that use our services, they're tremendously busy and they don't really have time to get into the details and get into the weeds of things and it's our job it's our responsibility it's our commitment to our clients to go down into the weeds to figure out if this is what they want to do and is this going to be a problem and if it is then let's get it done and yeah. if they come to us and say hey listen we've had these these are our pain points you know, we've had poor communication with other signing services, or we've had unreliable services from other signing yeah. services. How do you address those? Well, we are proactive communicators. And then, of course, we are uh, reliable and yeah. uh, and we're available. So those are some of the features that make us different from our competitors. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, all of that is absolutely needed in your marketplace, uh, certainly. I mean, there's always a, a need to do things, as you can probably imagine, from customers to get it done quickly and right mm. and make sure that it's done in a way that you're following all the rules and regulations. Um, all of that is extremely helpful. But certainly, there are also new technologies and innovations that are happening in the marketplace as well. Tell me a little bit about what you're excited on in terms of innovation in, in your space. 
Sure. And so you led on uh, in the opening segment with your frustrations of not being able to find a notary uh, when you were out of the country. Yeah. And so the technology that we've been able to, not we, but the technology that has grown is having what's called a RON services, remote online notarization. And that allows us to have a notary in front of a computer. So like you and I, uh, mm -hmm. You're in front of your computer. I'm in front of my computer. The state has approved for this RON, which is the acronym for remote online notarizations, to be utilized in the state. So if you're out of state as a U.S. citizen and you have valid U.S. ID, then we can find a notary who is RON approved, use the RON software to get the documents electronically signed and notarized, and therefore, the notarization process for a U.S. citizen out of the country can still be facilitated, completed, and their business transactions will go forth. As a matter of fact, if I could show you a quick story, we had a situation where we had some U.S. residents in, in the Philippines back in the COVID era. Mm -hmm. They were stuck in the country. They couldn't get out of, out of the Philippines. They had to get these documents uh, signed because it was a real estate transaction. I think they were trying to sell some property. So our client reached out to us and said, hey, listen, Philip, can you help us out? And again, we're solution-based. Sure, we can. We immediately went into uh, we, we immediately went into action, got our Ryan notaries on the call, spoke with our services to make sure that both parties and all parties had the documents that we needed. We got the documents signed electronically. The documents were sent back to the title company in the state of the signers. The transaction was completed. They were completely happy. So the, that's how technology is uh, working for us to be able to not allow the presence or the location of a signer to prevent them from getting documents signed. It's uh, amazing. I mean, I'm so glad that all these new things are popping up and moving the space forward. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Philip, you are clearly a guru in this world now, uh, <laughs> and you've done you know a lot of work in this space. And I guess I just have to ask, you know, wh where does the passion come from and, and where does the joy come from uh, for the work that you do? Sure. Thank you for that, Ben. And so, you know, again, going back to my roots, you know, I come from a, a lineage of service orientated leaders. My family, my father was a retired New York City police detective. My grandmother, as I said, was a bishop in her church. My grandmother, my, my father's side was a cook and, and a chef on the weekends. And so it's it's just in my DNA to be of service. So first and foremost, I, I have to be of service. I have to, my my life, authentic, uh, to live an authentic life, I have to be feeling fulfilling my role as being a service provider. Mm -hmm. And so Signing Service America allows me to be of service to multiple people. And those pockets of people are our signing agents, by, by providing a service to them, by training them, by giving them the, the opportunities for getting employment and fulfilling out what they want to do. Our signers, the homeowners, uh, they're looking for a company to hire a reliable notary. And so we're fulfilling a service with that. And then first, and then finally, our clients. Our mm -hmm. clients are expecting, they need someone to come to the partnership with some value that can uplift their brand so that they can get done what needs to be done in an efficient way. And so I'm fulfilling the calling that's placed in my life by being a servant and three major peers, the clients, the signing agents, as well as the signers of, for the properties or the transactions that we rep that we have to hire, hire and know to represent. I mean, you know, Philip, it's really interesting. I think of the role that uh, notaries play. I, I don't think there's a person in the country that doesn't get touched or connected uh, with a notary at some point. It's really mm -hmm. kind of a, an interesting profession because mm -hmm. you are having this huge connection with all individuals in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, but, you know, clearly the, the business must have challenges, right? I mean, we mm -hmm. all... We all face challenges. Yeah. What are some of the things that you are thinking about as a leader right now that face your business? What are some of those those challenges that you're working through? A great question. Thank you for asking. The biggest challenge is really the economy bent, you know, and the work that we do, we're working with uh, national mortgage lenders as well as title insurance companies. Mm. And, you know, when the economy, when the, the interest rates, when the feds have, the interest, have increased the interest rates, and I understand what they've done. But when they have increased the interest rates, then it really impacts 
the homeowner's ability to refinance their loan. And, you know, a great percentage of our revenue is, is derivative from the refinance industry. And so when the rates are high, then obviously homeowners are unwilling or reluctant or just will not refinance. Yeah. And so here we have to become creative. We, meaning those in this space, have to become creative and find other means of revenue to continue to keep the doors open. So that's yeah. the biggest challenge that we that I'm experiencing as a owner of a national signing service is just really the interest rate, the fluctuation of the interest rates. Well, I was told that, you know, in the, the next Fed meeting, I guess it's probably not going to get lowered, but there's a lot of discussion. I think the one, the meeting in March is uh, people are talking that maybe interest rates are coming down. So maybe, maybe some good news coming your way, Philip. <laughs> well, I hope so, because I and so many others are looking forward to it. But in the meantime, what we've been able to do is become creative, find a way, your mantra, find a yeah. way. Well, what do we do? we have been able to reach out to the mass tort law space and have developed relationships with uh, attorneys and law for uh, attorneys and claims administ claim administrators in this space that need the services of a national notary signing service. And as a result, we have closed our first major case with a national attorney and uh, claims administration firm. And we're very proud of the accomplishments that we've achieved as a result of this relationship. And now we, when another case comes, they will be calling upon our services again. So, so rather than just sit and wait for the interest rates to come down and, and, you know, meanwhile, you know, play with our fingers, what do we do? We found a way to continue to keep revenue coming in, to continue to keep people busy, to continue to provide our services to a completely new population of, uh, of needs of, of those that need our services. Philip, if someone wanted to learn more about what you and the signing services of America team are up to, where's the best place to find you? The best place would be going to our website is uh, www.signingservicesofamerica.com. There you will learn about our company and there's also an opportunity to book a consultation call with me to learn more about my company and what we can do to fulfill these and what we can do to offer our solution-based services to you. And then of course we have you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, but the best place is really our website. Excellent. Well, Philip, thank you so much for being on Uncage today. We've been speaking with Philip Hogan. He's the president of Signing Services of America, a nationwide notary signing service company with a robust database of attorneys and CFPB compliant notary signing agents. And anyone who has bought or sold a property, anyone who has dealt with really anything related to a contract has probably needed a notary. And there's probably many, many other reasons why you need notaries. And so we've been talking to Philip about how he's gone down that entrepreneurial path of building building a, a business here and certainly one that's needed. So Philip, thank you so much for being on the show today. And, and we look forward to having you back. Ben, my pleasure. Thank you for allowing me to be a guest.